friends gather around, I'd like to tell you a story about how I became one of the most prominent figures in the, in the most widespread overarching religion in the history of mankind, friends. I came from simple, humble origins as a slug wrangler in the archstone of the shadow men on a ritual path in the altar storms. In that phosphorescent pool of water, I used to just walk around and ring on them slugs up. I love them slugs. I always felt like they didn't like me back. I would collect the sticky white slime that they left on the corpses of the heroes would have been brought down for the Storm King. And uh, that was all right. Them slugs, you know, they didn't know what they was doing. They'd just take a, they'd take a, they take a steamy white pile of crap and put it on a hero's corpse. That's weird. I wanted to adventure around. I never did. Till one day I got blowed up. Got blowed up by some sort of angry god spirit, I guess. I don't know. Knocked me in them phosphorescent waters. When I opened my eyes, I changed. Things change. I, uh, I was different somehow. A light hurt my eyes. I sought out the darkness, and in the darkness down there, if I had to follow me, I met a maiden. She told me about demons and gods. Seemed neat. I didn't understand, really. I, I ain't much a theologian. I just, uh, slug wrangler, you know. Hurt my brain, if I'm being honest. Found me a spear called Easter Ale, and uh, we'd take it, protect me from that poison. I was out there in the days, I was just wandering around there, learning about demons and gods, and God was a demon, and demons is God, and that old one. Yes, friends, that old one. That spear was a remnant of that old one, and it led me up a sticky, a sticky trail, a sticky slime trail, up to a nest of slugs. And when when I when that when that when that nest came down I found inside the word of God revelation. I knew what my life was in like. It wasn't gods and demons and it, everybody'd been misunderstanding, I guess. You know, some people say that the slugs are an auger of the eldritch truth. I guess I could see that. I had to spread the message. I had to spread the word of his sluggy visit. I took that Easter ale. I was, I was immune to poison. And I went to go tell people. They, they would try and shield themselves from that truth. that large sort of moonlight there's no shielding yourself from the Word of God the Word of God is anger oh he's mad as hell boy he coming to get you Also, I learned the power of making wizards shut up. Please stop talking and listen to the word of God. They want to throw fireball at us all the time. Fireball, 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 fireball. Hey, stop, shut up, please. I have something important to tell you. Sometimes, sometimes they run. I find that's often the case. We go out of our way to run from the truth. Kinda, kindly sucks though, don't it? Cause the truth will just hunt you down, it don't care. The truth will hunt you down. No avoiding it. Can't shield yourself from it. The truth exists. It's unchangeable, immutable. 
Sluggy. Yes, friends. Why were they running? Where did they think they were? The more they ran, the more it hurt. It's like ripping a bandage off. After it's all caked in blood and stuck on the hairs of your arms. Why, why do we shave our arms? I mean, I don't shave my arms. Do you, do you shave your arms too? I, I mean, I don't. But I think it's okay if you do. Anyway, it's like when I shave my arms and I rip a band-aid off because I cut my arm and how it hurts. That's the truth. I find the more people I find together in a group, the easier it is to show them that truth. Kick them into a new and brighter future. One that represents the will of our Lord God, a big pile of slugs. I see him rolling and I, I ask, have you ever rolled the other way? Cause I can roll forward, I can roll forward backwards. What if that was the way we was meant to roll? What if we been rolling wrong this whole time? Powerful philosophical thoughts like this. They just, they just appear in my head, you know? What if, what if the opposite were true? So on. Word of God will knock you down. And it'll chase you. It'll just chase you like it does. Word of God. Knock you down and chase you. And then it'll take you. You'll be abducted by the sluggy aliens. What, what walk among us now? Taken. Disappeared. Like whatever my religion's version of Moses is. And when God takes you, you ask yourself, Did you see what God did to us, man? That's the most important question I feel like, theologically speaking, that any, anybody could ever ask. I feel like when you get put in a situation and that situation seems pretty dire, pretty strange, pretty awful. Maybe it's time you ask yourself. Do you see what God did to us? Everywhere in this world I traveled. Everywhere. After that colorless fog had appeared and ate up most of the land, ate most of it right up, just gone, just gone. I traveled everywhere and I wanted to bring that big bright light that knocked me down, I wanted to bring it to other people. They needed to experience that big bright light what had knocked me down into a big pile of slugs where I learned the truth. Mm, yes, friends, so too did they need to experience that as well. Yes, friends. Did you see what God did to me? I saw what God did to you. Sometimes people have friends and they, they don't have time for the word of God. They're like, I've got company. Please come back some other time. Or they'll say, I've already got a religion. I like, I like throwing fireballs. Let me tell you something, I learned a scientific fact the other day. Scientific fact. Fire is 90% salt. Slug, they hate it. They hate salt. And therefore they hate fire. It's time to get raptured.
you know, sometimes it, it feels like just living this life costs $700. And sometimes it feels like Sometimes it feels like when people get abducted and, and, and our worlds disconnect, it feels like a $700 disconnection. Yes, friends. Yes, friends, you pay $700 just to disconnect, just to quit the game. Just, I mean, to quit the life, because this is real life. I really believe in the things I'm saying. I went back, I went back to the, that old archstone of the shadow men. I'd been everywhere in the world, man. I'd been all places. I'd told everybody about the slug god. I said, hey, you're the slug god. You gotta, he gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna kill you, or he say, save you. God is demons, and demons is gods, and old, that old one. Take it. That's what you get for messing with souls. You mess with souls, that old one wake up, that old sluggy old one. He made out of trees, he come. Can't be messing with other folks' souls. Makes God mad. Wakes up that old slug. That old slug come make demons. I figured it all out, friends. Yes, friends. I went back to that shrine. I had friend look at him. He's like me. He also knew the word of God, word of slug. I'd started a whole religion. Yes, friends. I remember when I was wrangling slugs, my daddy, he gave me a little slug wrangling stick. People wanted to show me their slug wrangling sticks. I said, shut up. I don't want to see your slug wrangling stick. You're shooting fire out of your slug wrangling stick. I ain't hang for that. Stop talking. Please stop shooting magic at me. I even went back. Back to that. That pool of the phosphorescent water to defend those slugs. I'd always felt like those slugs didn't respect me, didn't like me. I'd always liked them slugs. I thought they was all right. Sometimes I had to hit him with a wrangling stick. I'd hit a slug with a wrangling stick. I'd say, stop pooping on the heroes. Stop pooping on the hero slug. But I felt like, I felt like they never respected me. But I came back, I said, look what I made of myself, slugs. Look at what I've made of myself. I'm spreading your word. And I defended, I defended these slugs. From all them adventurers, what would come down trying to come see the, the storm beast. Felt like my story had come full circle. Friends, I'd like to. I'd like, I'd like for y'all to watch this montage I made. I'm gonna put it on YouTube. Please enjoy. The greatest repost in Demon Souls. Yes, friends, I love that kick so much. That's the best looking thing I had ever seen in my life. I decided I was going to take my montage back to them slugs. I was going to show them. Look what I made of myself. Yes, friends. Look what I've done. I made a montage for y'all. Are you proud of me now, slug? But none of them had PS5s yet, so they, they didn't care. They just killed me and took mine. Yes, friends. I'm finished. <laughs>